Welcome to your first workout. Come join me on the mat. Sits bones grounded. Give that booty a little lift. Inhale, lift through the chest. Just take a couple breaths here, elbows into the side body. Draw nice deep breaths into that belly. On your next inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Right hand under left, press those palms up to the ceiling. Keeping a nice straight line here, left oblique engage, take it over to that right hand side. Keep your left sit bone grounded with the floor. Pulse that left oblique forward. If you have a yoga practice at home, you know what ujjayi breathing is. Great time to bring in that ujjayi breath. Inhale all the way back to center. Push that chin through, give the neck a little stretch. Exhale, swing those arms in front of you. Give yourself a little hug, right arm over left. Pull that fascia away from the shoulder joint, open up the throat. Roll that chin through midline. Inhale, draw those elbows all the way up. Press those hands up this time, left hand under right, press the palms up to the sky. Nice long lines here, take it over that left side, pulse right oblique. Inhale it back to center, draw those elbows out to the side, open up the chest. Swing those arms around this time, left arm on top, grab those shoulders, open up through the throat. Release those arms up overhead. We're taking the chest front to back. I want you to really squeeze through the core here. Nice tight spiral, take it counterclockwise. Try to imagine that you're leading with the heart. Keep those arms nice and long. As you release, bring that right hand to that left knee, gaze over that left shoulder. Lengthen through the crown. Bring your right fingertips to that left oblique. I want you to really feel those muscles. I want you to grab the muscle fibers, strum them like a guitar string. Get them fired up, activated by the brain. Nice tight spiral here, counterclockwise. Squeeze all the way through. Inhale, release that right forearm to the floor. Really plug that entire palm into the ground. Open up through that left side body, hit your row here. Elbow out to the side. Imagine that you're pulling through water. Hit that resistance. Keep that left hip anchored. Take it over to that left side. Hit that row. Rise it up, left hand, right knee. Breathe over that right shoulder. Right fingertips to that right oblique. Strum those muscle fibers like a guitar string. Start connect that brain. Circle clockwise, squeeze tight. Inhale back to center, press those hands up one more time. Release that right foot, cross at the ankles. Take it back to your first plank. Palms stacked under shoulders. Feet are active. Slowly lower down if you need to modify. Drop that left knee down to the mat. Elbows in, otherwise come all the way down for your chaturanga hold. Inhale, bring it through cobra position. Micro button in that elbow, press the heart forward. Pulse it out here. Tap those toes, first downward facing dog. Find those obliques, I want you to take those hips left to right, keeping the legs nice and long. Feel that stretch in the side body. Press back to your static dog. Inhale, right toes rise. Exhale, open up that hip. Keep that weight evenly distributed in left and right palm. 
Draw that knee under chest, stack that weight forward to the shoulders. Pelvic tuck. Fire up that core. Bring it tick tock, left to right. Send those right toes high, three legged dog. Cross that right foot in front of the left, press back into those hips. Send that right leg up again, this time flexed foot. Send that right leg over to the side, work that piriformis. Draw the inside blade of the foot down toward the floor. Bring it back up. Bring that right leg through. Low crescent lunge on Janayasana. Check, make sure those feet are in line with those hips. Inhale, arms come up. Bring the arms back, clasp the palms, open up through the chest. As you release, bring those forearms to the floor. Step it back to your forearm plank. Plant those palms, tuck that pelvis under. Gently rock it front to back. Remember here, we're not bouncing. We're staying engaged. Squeeze. Press it up for dolphin. Walk those feet up, tailbone toward the ceiling. Soften those knees. Draw those feet out to the sides for straddle forward fold. Grab the outsides of the heels. Nice straight spine. Inhale, flat back. Pelvic tuck, squeeze that low core. Circle counter. Slowly rise it up, one vertebrae at a time. Turn those toes out, knees stack over heels. Goddess pose, arms come straight up. Small pulse. Take those arms out to the side, fingertips up. Take it left to right through those obliques. Right hand comes across. Switch it out, left side. Both palms up. Hands to heart. Keep that core nice and tight here. Circle the hips counterclockwise. Beautiful job. Hands to those knees, lock out the arms. Drop right shoulder into midline. Inhale through center, exhale, switch. Toes forward, forward, fold. Plant those palms, take it back to plank. This time, if you modified last time, right knee comes down, chaturanga, or chaturanga, both legs up. Bend it through the cobra. Lead forward with the heart, keep elbows drawn to the side body. Find your cobra roll. Hit that down, dog. Jack it out. Take it up for four. Take it back. Up. Keep it wide, left hand to right heel. Replace that left hand, down dog push up, top of the head to the floor. Slow it down, squeeze. Take it up, squeeze. Yeah. 
Last five, pulse it down. Right hand, left heel. Replace that hand, shake it out. Static shake here, release that low spine. Take it up. Reach for opposite elbows, sway it out. Shift that weight over into the right foot. Right knee over the toes. Both knees are facing forward, pelvic tuck. Hands to heart. Circle counter. Send those arms out, pulse it low. Right knee drive. Find that body wave. Switch side. Hold it left. Take it nice and low. Knee drive. Beautiful job. Arms come up. Pelvic tuck. Arms come down, circle clock. Beautiful job, turn those right toes up. Slide that foot out. Come down into your bind. Bring it back to center, plant those palms. Step it back to plank. Tap those right toes out. Switch left, right to left, hit those jacks, hit your wide dog, soften those knees, look to the top of the mat, step jumper hop, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Reach those right fingertips out in front of that right foot. Start to bring it up for Ardha Chandrasana. Bring left hand to that left hip, right leg plie. We're changing planes here with the chest. Draw that left knee in. Open it up. Step it back, warrior two. Find that front to back pulse. Circle arms. Extended side angle. Reverse. Cartwheel those hands. Press it back for runner's lunge. This time, rise up toward that right hand. Reach all the way back for that foot. Get a nice stretch through the hip. As you release that back left foot, tuck those toes under. High lunge twist. Take it front to back, no bouncing here. Use that calf. Right hand to right oblique circle, keep it tight. Once you have the right muscle movement, extend that right arm. Circle it back. Add in that left foot kick. Step that left foot all the way forward in line with those hips. 
reach for what you need, drop your tailbone, lift through the chest, back to being a nice parallel line over the floor, tuck that pelvis. This is supposed to feel like an awkward position, right heel forward, left. Keep extending through the back, arms forward. Padastasana, straighten out those legs, step on the palms. Extend those fingertips flat back. Draw that right leg behind the left. Open up here. Circle those shoulders. Both shoulders. Open it up here, send those arms all the way up. Pulse into that right leg. Beautiful job. Fingertips come to either side of that left foot. Extend that right leg. Left leg is bent here. Tuck and open. Beautiful job. Step those feet hip width. Hands to heart. Pedal out those heels. Keep that chest forward. We want that back parallel over the floor. Start to lift the chest. Arms up. And release. Straight spine, draw those hips forward. Left hand in front of right foot, open up, twist. Option for that full bind, right hand to left hip crease. As you release, move those left fingertips in front of the left foot. Draw that right leg up and back for Ardha Chandrasana. Option to take that plie, right hand to right hip. Plie, left leg. Change planes, knee to chest. Open it up. Replace that right leg. Gaze up toward that left palm, take it front to back. Remember, no bouncing here. Use those muscles to control the movement front to back. Left hand to left oblique, circle counter, squeeze. The smaller the rotation, the better. Really activate those muscle fibers. Slowly drop that right knee down. Reach the left hand back for the toes. Slowly release that back leg, forearms down. Plant the fingertips. I want you to flex those left toes, lift them off the floor. Feel that deep stretch all the way back to the glute. Exhale, plant those toes, press the heart forward. Two options here, either hands firmly to the floor or fingertips. Take it back, roll it out here. Draw that right cheek down to the mat. Release those hips side to side. Slowly bring that head back to neutral. Clasp the hands behind the back, toes are together. Engage those glutes. Lift up, squeeze. Inhale, firm up that belly. Exhale, reach for the outsides of the heels. Take it back for your bow. Slowly release, left cheek down. Plant the palms. Bring it up to Chaturanga. Take it back, downward facing dog. 
soften those knees, meet me in the chair, Utkatasana. Feet, knees together. Inhale, find your flow, hands to heart. Send those arms up overhead. Right knee draws to the chest, stay low on that left leg. Cross over that left leg. One more. Lift all the way up here, flex those right toes. Two options here. Hug that knee or take left hand thumb facing down to the outside of that leg. Bring it up. Slowly guide that right foot into that left hip crease. Rikshasana. Inhale, arms come up. Find your forward fold, lead with that heart. Straighten out that right leg, draw forehead to shin, standing split. Square up those hips. Step those feet together, roll back, happy baby. Release that left leg to the floor. Reach underneath that right calf. Recline pigeon. Check in with that left leg. Some people's toes have a tendency to turn out. Turn in, you want that leg tracking in line with the foot. Reach that left hand all the way up. Flip that grip of the thumb outside of the heel. Open it up here. Slowly bring it back. Draw that right foot to left hip crease. Open up here, take a breath. Inhale, rise up through the chest. Forward fold. Bring that right arm all the way behind. See if you can grab that foot. If all you can do is just bring the hand to the back, that's totally fine. Square up those shoulders. Lead that heart forward, forward, fold. Release that right foot. Draw the knees in and together. That right foot's hitting back now. Sit bones are to the mat. If you need to give those booty cheeks a little movement to ground those sit bones, go right ahead here. We're in Art of Varasana, half hero. Keep those left feet flexed, knees actively pulling together. Let's take a little forward fold first. When we're ready, keep that core tight. Draw it onto the forearms. If you want to take it all the way back, drop all the way back to the spine, reach for opposite elbows. Keep those knees drawing it in together. Slowly release those arms, draw it all the way up. Take that right leg out in front of you. Again, ground those sit bones. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lead with the heart, forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Draw those feet down to the floor, hip width apart. Make sure you're pulling those toes actively to the mat, lower back, so we're actually rounding and scooping into the low core here. Heart left to right. Don't let those toes up, circle counter clock. Keep it tight. Inhale, rise up through the arms. Exhale, arms come back. Send those arms all the way up. Flex those feet. Forward fold. See if you can take it a little deeper. Left foot into right hip crease. See if you can draw that left arm behind. Reach for those toes. Spinal twist.
release, reach it forward, lead with the heart. Slowly release that foot, draw the knees in and together, ground those sit bones for Ardha Varasana. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, forward fold. When you're ready, draw it onto those forearms. Keep those core muscles engaged. You wanna take it all the way back, all the way back to the shoulder blades. Reach up and over the head for opposite elbows. Slowly rise it up. Both legs out in front, arms up. Cross up those ankles, take it through, chaturanga, cobra, downward facing. Left toes up, open up that hip. Draw left knee under the chest, pelvic tuck. Left to right, tick tock. Left toes rise. Open up that hip. Send that left leg through, warrior two. Front to back. Add all those arms. Take it all the way forward for extended side angle. Exhale, slowly bring it back to your reverse warrior. If you need to take it a little bit less deep, just bring that right hand to the back of that right thigh. If you want to take the bind, meet me there. Cartwheel those hands forward. Drop it back to your runner's lunge. Look toward that left foot, turn that foot out 45 degrees, step the right foot forward. Malasana. Heels are stacked under hips, toes turn out to 45. Core engaged, lift through the crown. Cross those index fingers, Sapana Mudra. Arms straight out, big inhale. Exhale, empty out those lungs, hit your fire breath. Arms come straight up. Arms out to the side. Turn those heels out, shake it out, release that low back. See if you can lift up flat back, keep shaking, arms straight back. So here, as silly as this may seem, this is one of the best exercises for getting rid of cellulite, strengthening all of the muscles of the hip capsule and the leg. Not to mention, it helps reorganize your cells through vibration. So instead of laughing at yourself, why don't you try? Send those arms all the way forward. Add a pelvic tuck. Three, two, one, forward fold. Turn those right toes out, Trikonasana. Make sure right heel is in line with this left arch. Open up into that left side body. Reach for the muscle fibers of that left oblique. So here we're rounding into the fingertips. Really small micro movement here, squeeze. Straight up and down, torso tug of war, squeeze. Keep lifting through the crown. Slowly reverse it. Back through center, reach for opposite elbows, sway it out. Lean into that right leg, left toes come up. Reach back for that bind. Slowly bring it back. Reach for opposite elbows, circle clock. Rise it up to goddess pose, toes turn out. Knees over hips.
take right fingertips behind that right heel. Small pulse. Right hand offers forward. Send those arms over to that left side. Lift and lower. Left hand offers forward. Find your flow right to left. Take those toes forward. Static hold. Drop the tailbone to the floor. Take those legs straight out to the side. Straddle position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring that right shoulder to the mat. Open up left hand to right foot. If you want to take a deeper right hand underneath the hip. As you lift, give your spine the opposite twist. Take your chest over to the outside of that right leg. Draw forward. Slowly back through center. Left shoulder down, open up, right side body. If you want to take a deeper left palm underneath that right hip. Lift through the chest, opposing spinal twist. Keep that right hand to the outside of the left foot. Tilt the chest to the outside of that left leg, slowly draw forward. Bring the back soles of the feet together. Find that spinal rocking movement. Circle counter, squeeze. Beautiful job. Roll it onto the back, happy baby. Release that right leg. Reach under for your reclined pigeon, left side. If you want to take it deeper, right hand to the outside of that left foot, open up. Slowly bring it back. Inhale, arms up overhead, double exhale, sit up. Cross, jump it through. Chaturanga. Cobra. Downward facing dog. Soften those knees, jump to the top of the mat. Chair, we're almost there. Flat back, exhale, fold, rise it up. Hands to heart, drop it down, left knee to chest. Cross it over. One more. Lift and hold. Option to keep it right here or we're reaching that right hand to the outside of the left knee and extend. Kick that left leg up, standing split. Step those feet together, roll it onto the back. Let's draw that right knee over to the left side, look right. Hug the knees into the chest, give it some small circles here. Decompress that lower back. You made it, your little warm up 30 minute workout. Release that right leg, draw left knee across the right side, look left. Release that left leg, come to your Shavasana position. Shoulder blades anchored, sits bones anchored. Palms up to the sky, let those toes roll up into the sides. Nice deep breaths into the belly. Be sure to relax the head, neck, and jaw. Give yourself at least two minutes here, five if you can, and I'll see you at the next workout.